So, as already say, uh, uh, I am Irina Moskova from Paderborn University, and I am replacing today uh, Mark. Uh, so you can see also here another authors. Um, what I want to present uh, today: how we implement uh, semantic uh, media wiki uh, for realization from a research data management system to collaborative research centers. So we are active with the same team in two collaborative research centers, uh, CRC Thailand Forming and uh, CRC Oxygen Reproduction. And today I want uh, actually concentrate on uh, CRC uh, Oxygen Reproduction. So um, I want to say a little bit uh, about uh, our project firstly. Let me start with background of our project. So uh, the production process of the metal working industry uh, from the very, very beginning till now, till today, are usually carried out of the presence of oxygen. And that is usually, usually uh, in a nature a atmosphere. Uh, and oxidation acts um, as a disturbance factor in different production process, like, for example, uh, coating or cutting or joining. Uh, and we can observe, uh, for example, a lot of defects or oxid skins or oxidation of tools and components uh, or poor information. And um, actually, we should do something for this. Uh, Possible solution approach is understanding the processes in the perspective processing, um, respective processing zone and um, develop some technology that completely removes oxygen from the uh, process zone. Uh, and in this uh, collaborate research project, uh, we have uh, some um, big team. Um, this um, actually 46 researchers um, three universities, uh, about 19 some project, sub projects. So you can understand that we have uh, a lot of um, challenges, how we manage a lot of uh, data sets, how we communicate um, with each other, so how the projects communicate uh, each other. So we need uh, some data management system. And uh, actually, if we look um, which kind of uh, documentation art or uh, system we are using now, it can be something like, uh, for example, structured markdown or a different type of TXT data or Excel uh, or, for example, electronic lab notebooks. So you see a different art of um, tools uh, for description, for project result description, have, and um, uh, actually everyone use different standards. We need some uh, common solution to this. And uh, one of this possible solution is um, research data management system. Um, for this, uh, we have uh, identified some challenges. For example, um, we ask uh, ourselves how to implement um, some research data management tools to support research data processing between different projects uh, or between also different collaborative projects. Uh, how can the process of uh, documenting and monitoring measurements of research objects uh, between sub-projects be organized uh, or how can data in research data management system be interlinked uh, with each other. So um, actually, we want to make some big step uh, between some chaotical data management to some more organization. And uh, we decided to use for this um, some architecture, some uh, system. Um, I tried to present it uh, really quickly. So we develop uh, in um, 
our collaborative project, firstly, some uh, domain-specific uh, vocabulary and uh, also, if it's possible, ontologies. Uh, this uh, big goal to ensure a semantic linking. And we decided uh, that we put our data sets, um, so for example, measurement data in some central data management system. Uh, like this, we use actually in uh, the post uh, collaborative research center uh, CTN based, uh, based solution to storage of research data and uh, for uh, description uh, for contextual metadata. Uh, and for, uh, we call it knowledge uh, management system to uh, protocol description. We use uh, actual semantic media wiki uh, with big goal uh, to make uh, structured collection storage uh, and so achieve some domain specific knowledge. So uh, actually, what we um, which requirements are important for us to make integration into the research data management system uh, different. Um, Sorry, uh, different type of, of data. Um, we want to link in also data repository uh, and also online machine park. Uh, it should be accessible to all sub project. Uh, and uh, it's important that we achieve um, searchability of research protocol using semantic queries. Uh, big challenge or two big challenges, uh, flexibility in protocol generation. Uh, because if we uh, prepare firstly some um, uh, good defined vocabulary and ontology and uh, discuss it with a lot of uh, participants, um, it will be a lot of time. So we need some uh, flexible uh, solution. And uh, we want to achieve high usability and adaptability to new research activities. Um, so our goals are uh, development of a dynamic model to describe research activities and provenance of data. And the model uh, should be um, the model should be uh, to enable the development uh, and um, arbitrary combination of semantic building block from which uh, we want to achieve some generic protocol. So um, our solution for this is, uh, we call it generic protocol structure, this big deal re to achieve reusability, tra uh, traceability, and uh, interoperability. And we use, firstly, as a basic for this, metadata for ink ontology to description of data. Um, actually, you can see now just one uh, general idea of metadata for ink ontology. Um, so um, this ontology is enable um, the description of data generation processes, associated artifacts and uh, data manipulation procedures. So uh, actually in our research activity, uh, we always uh, can say we describe our research activity like a set of processing steps. And for every step, we can recognize some method, some research method, for example, on the assurement method and some tools. So um, it's the great idea from uh, metadata for ink ontology. And we use this idea and adapt um, so that uh, we prepare uh, our model, which we use as a core of our solution. Uh, so our model uh, include, for example, firstly variables, um, which are, um, for example, um, an entity of the own. For example, um, we are talking about unit system for measurement, and uh, they should be based on employed ontology. Uh, also, we recognize that we need some protocol type uh, to uh, description of um, research activities. And this protocol type describes des describe the basic step and condition of experiment. So we need some template uh, with, with a content variable 
Uh, and we need to see some variable, for example, like uh, like values and specimens. Uh, very important entity is entity protocol. Um, this instance documents the uh, execution of an individual experiment. And also, um, we are working in our research uh, with uh, specimen. Um, and we should take into account several specimens. Um, should be uh, we should um, use some um, uniform naming and reusability uh, include uh, one time defin uh, definition uh, with uh, some associated units and um, really important uh, important part of our model it's a record the record entity represents the measured values uh, of the value this is basic and we uh, I implement uh, this model in Semantic Media Wiki. So, uh, firstly, I present really short how it works from user perspective in Semantic Media Wiki if I am user, so I am researcher. Uh, firstly, as first step, I should create variables to each parameter. Uh, so, I need to define my variable. Um, I can reuse existing variable or uh, I can create my, my own. Uh, and to each variable, I need to assign the units of measurement, uh, and also um, should be available option uh, which uh, derived from an existing ontology and also contains a uh, conversation factor between different units with the same uh, quantity. So first step, I create variable. What I should do after that, I should create protocol. Uh, template according our model. Uh, so you can see here a screenshot from some protocol template from our semantic media wiki base. Uh, um, system. Um, so I should define protocol template, which I can use in the future for the protocol. Uh, and in addition to some statical information, uh, some static information like, for example, description of my project or name, abbreviation of my project, uh, I can uh, add here some information about uh, machinery park and uh, another equipment. Uh, and I, well, you can see here in the screen uh, down uh, also very vari variables uh, which I can use in my protocol template. If I have already some protocol template, I can make next step. Um, I can make um, documentation. Um, I can document the actual research. Um, for each new protocol, I should choose a protocol template, which I already had. Uh, and um, if I haven't this, I should uh, need, uh, I, I, I should prepare some ones. Uh, as described earlier, and uh, every template can be also reused. Uh, and uh, if some, uh, after some experiment, I have also some data set which I put in a second base system, I can make link to this system. And at last, uh, I can de define total number of specimens in this experiment, how you look like here and also in this uh, screenshot. Uh, and also, I can um, select the existing specimen um, and reuse it. For example, if some another user, not I, prepare this uh, specimen uh, in some another sub-project, uh, and this specimen is already in system, I can reuse it. So, um, what happened after that? Uh, when the form data is processed, the system displays a list of the specimen as you can see here also, um, like screenshot. Uh, and uh, system can records corresponding to this protocol. Um, and um, I can edit um, this information via model dialog, as well, like some pop-up uh, window. And I can also navigate in record page uh, through protocol page. Uh, for example, um, I can list it uh, all record. So um, how we achieve this really quickly, uh, we use the page form extension and some script to generate uh, the user interface. 
Um, the protocol templates serve as reusable semantic building blocks here. Um, each selected variable in a protocol template defines a parameter in the record, uh, and parameters values are stored in a sub uh, object in the record, which can be used with queries also. Uh, here you can see uh, a little bit another point of view, so point of view uh, from developer side. Um, so um, in each template, um, you can here recognize uh, also uh, some um, part of our uh, model, so basic model. Um, I see that I have not a lot of time more, so I go uh, very quickly. So. Um, in record form, um, if so, if I use this code like uh, as basic, so I became this uh, viewpoint uh, as a user. So um, I see here also static fields, space management protocol, and I see here also dynamically dynamically generated information with values. Um, um, early defined in protocol template. So you see with this structure, this protocol template, uh, our users uh, can be active involved uh, in the structure of the uh, system and can uh, also decide uh, how we can, which template, template are we, uh, important, which variables are important. They can add new variables. They can also uh, make copy of inter uh, of uh, existing templates uh, and make correction of these uh, templates. Um, and also um, what is uh, important in our system that each of the dynamic properties of a sub project uh, are accessible with queries and uh, can be usable for uh, knowledge graph. And we also um, give our users some possibility with this application of generic protocol structure to use semantic search, to make correction in semantic search, so uh, we can prepare some templates of semantic query or our user, uh, if they want, uh, can um, also achieve semantic query um, which they write your um, with our help or without our help, but uh, uh, on the basis of this generic protocol structure, um, the user are also are active involved in the uh, structure uh, in the structure of uh, our system. So I go to summary. Um, I present you, of course, very quickly some approach uh, for modeling research activities using semantic building block. Uh, we call it generic protocol uh, structure. Um, we develop it based on analysis of data processing requirements uh, within the scope of CRC oxygen free production. Um, this concept is based on a relation between structured recording of research activity uh, and the provenance of data. Uh, we have uh, simple logical interface from research data so to support decision making, also on the basic on uh, semantic query. And this approach was implemented with semantic media wiki. Uh, based, semantic media, media wiki is based to our knowledge base system in the CRC oxygen free production. So thanks a lot for your attention. The audience. Yes, we do. Okay, good morning. I do have two questions. First of them is uh, I would like to know which triple store you use uh, together with Semantic Media Wiki or with Media Wiki. And the second is how you will face the challenge to get rid of all variables. So, so um, uh, I, try I try to answer, answer but, but uh, um, so, so I, I think if you, you really need, really need uh, some, some really 
big answer. We, we can uh, connect also with Mark because uh, actually it was uh, his uh, technical implementation. So we described the triple story uh, on the basis of uh, our connection with um, all researchers. So actually we prepare some uh, vocabularies uh, and we discuss this vocabularies with all researchers. Uh, after that, uh, we uh, described the connection between uh, activities uh, and uh, also um, you see that they here some flexible model. So we have this triple store uh, dependent from uh, some sub project. Uh, actually, it's a big uh, challenge to connect uh, the sub-project uh, and uh, it depends from uh, future, uh, from, from, from future ideas or what uh, our researchers uh, to want to find, which art of knowledge uh, are very important. So it means, uh, Firstly, we have some local models for every uh, simple protocol. Uh, and if we uh, need some uh, more big uh, model, we should uh, connect uh, the simple protocols from uh, one, one with another. Uh, I think this was a good answer, but I, I, I also think Dietmar is going to connect to uh, Mark for some, some details here. And I, I, I'm sorry, uh, but Bernard also has a question. Bernard. Yes, uh, thank you for your presentation. Um, I uh, thought that the, that the knowledge management part with Semantic Media Week is really interesting. I just wonder. Uh, in the overall architecture, why would why did you use CCAN? Because as uh, as far as I know, CCAN, I mean, it's a nice open source metadata portal software, but uh, it could be easily uh, replaced by Semantic Media Wiki also for the things it does. So, so wh wh why are you are you using CCAN in your architecture? Uh, actually, actually, it's also some. Some historical decision uh, because uh, we have second based uh, system uh, which close and uh, which uh, only with the CRC member can use. Uh, and uh, it was really big important step for us uh, that um, for all sub project um, we um, prepare some. Um, data management system, second based data management system. And this system can use uh, uh, only a CRC uh, member. But um, it's the, the both CRC uh, are based in uh, Leibniz University Hanover. And next step was that we uh, want to make, uh, to, to give access to some data sets, not only in the CRC, but also for uh, another researchers uh, from another countries, from another universities. And it was to us a really um, good decision to use CCAN because in uh, Leibniz University Hanover, um, repository is also CCAN based and we can technically uh, more easily um, prepare such, such solution, achieve such solution that uh, we, uh, we um, Actually, this one mouse uh, click um, replace um, the data sets from intern repository, intern CK uh, base repository to uh, some open repository from Leibniz University Hanover. So it's some historical decision uh, with also some technical background because it was more uh, easy to, to become the solution for some years. 